My name is Kanijaka Diallo, and I'm graduating today. Hey, oh, like yes. You snatched the mic out of my head, so today is going to be all about me. Oh, drops the mic. Congratulations! Yes, welcome back. There is a story I came across recently. I have the full video I'm going to play so you can see exactly what is going on. This lady was officiating a graduation ceremony and the lady in charge thought there was some racism from what she said and went viral after picking up a mic against that lady. When it concerns this issue of racism, sometimes I would like to give opinions pertaining to that. I don't know if you have seen this video, I think I'll play this so you can see exactly what is happening. But before I do, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. If possible, why not share this clip? Let's go! You didn't let me get my moment, so I want to say my name is Kanijaka Diallo and I'm graduating today. Hey, oh, like yes. You snatched the mic out of my head, so today is going to be all about me. Oh, drops the mic. Congratulations! It's my story time. Basically, what happened was... Um, I was walking on and we had to announce our names and say our name before we get on the stage. So I was saying my name and she literally, I was, my name is long. My name, obviously, I have like three syllables in my name. I'm not going to say exactly my name right now, but okay, just so you get a point. So I didn't even finish getting to say my name. And then the people that went before me and everything, they all got to say their name, their major, and even extras. And me and another girl noticed that she was putting the mic, she was pulling the mic down super fast for some black people. I don't want to be that person, but that was the tea. So, I mean, I just couldn't let her, I just couldn't let that happen. Because I just feel like I worked so hard to graduate and went through so much shit to graduate that I just felt like I had to reclaim my moment. I'm sorry, like, I'm not a problematic person. I don't want to ruin no one's day. I don't want to violate anybody, but that's what she did. She didn't even let me finish speaking. She put the mic down, cut me off, and that was the only time I was able to speak. So I just feel like that wasn't right. Yes, you know, when something like this happen, you will realize people have different opinions you know, partaking to situations like these. I've seen some videos where some people say, oh, you did the right thing. This is good. You have to take up your moment to prove to this lady you are a strong girl. You are this, you are that. Before I say anything, there is a video I'm going to play so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm glad she did that because I'm so sick of this genre of palm color racist people that want to steal monumental milestone moments away from black people. People work so hard to graduate. People work so hard to hit these milestones and you get joy out of diminishing that for a black person. I am sick of it, y'all. I'm so glad she shook that woman up because that's what we needed to be done because y'all be playing with us too much. Stop playing with us. What kind of sick person, what kind of nasty person are you where you get joy out of stealing a moment like that from somebody? Just nasty work. Just nasty work and we're tired of it. We are so sick and tired of y'all. First off to that young lady, congratulations, kudos, you ain't did nothing wrong. For y'all sitting here making videos, talking about she needs to know how to conduct herself and she could have been acting in a different way so they won't be looking at us crazy. Who's they? Why is it that we always have to conduct ourselves? That girl, I'm sorry, that young woman said that the lady gave everybody a chance to say their full name and their major. And she said that when it came to other black people who grabbed the mic, she saw that the woman was taking it back quickly. So when it was her time to say her name, the woman snatched the mic, just like these people be snatching the moments of black people in their graduations, like the young boy who couldn't graduate because of his dreads, like the young girl couldn't graduate because people in the crowd laughed when she did the giddy, gritty or whatever. It's moments like this that other people take away from us that we want to step back 
and judge how we react. You do something to me. Had that been me, yes, I probably would have done the same thing because if I'm graduated, I'm very proud of what I'm doing and you allow me time to speak and say my name and you snatch it, bitch, I'm going to snatch it back. I can't stand y'all get on this app talking about, oh, she need to learn how to conduct herself. According to who? Who laid rules down for anybody to learn how to conduct themselves? You snatch, that lady should have learned how to conduct herself, Okay. And if there was a time limit, she could have said it's a time limit. But it wasn't apparently, according to the young woman, who had the mic snatched from her. This is so, oh my goodness, baby, kudos to you. Congratulations. I hope you succeed in every endeavor that you in. Yes, you are done. I want you to know if you are an employee who is to pick up a lady partaking to maybe a job vacancy will you take this lady i want you to know your opinion pertaining to that you know after graduations there are criteria that people put forward before you are being employed if i'm the one i will not take up this lady for these actions i just hate the fact that we are always easy to conclude or draw or attack people with this issue of racism Sometimes, when you want to know the real story of what is happening, it might be shocking to you. I wanted to know what happened or how the lady pronounced her name or called her name before they had to remove the mic. It could actually help to draw some conclusions pertaining to this situation. Because now, they had to cut out that part where the lady, you know, pronounced her name and what happened. It might be a different reasons. You know, we don't know because we have not seen the real clip. But from everyone's conclusion, especially some of these people, they are supporting her. Because of the kind of notion of racism that is inflicted in them, anything, they are always fast to call out situation like this i always like to take my time to investigate a situation before i look into before i can say a word if you actually take a look at these people speaking here you will see it clearly they don't even know the real story because we are not fortunate enough to have the full video so how can you draw conclusion it was because you know this person is white it's black so I want you to know where you took that kind of mindset. Situation can happen to a white lady like this. And in that case, what will you say? You stay silent, right? We should try to face up situations, you know, with facts. Not about sentiment. I understand people are so embedded with issues of race. But we should be reasonable enough, you know, to figure out that not everything, you know, surrounds us is racism.